This week, we are doing something a little different. We are not going to show you things to do in Yellowstone. We're going to show you things to do outside of Yellowstone. We actually haven't gone in the National Park. We're doing that next week when my friends arrive. Um, so in the meantime, we've been exploring the area outside Yellowstone and found that there's so much to do. Yeah, from like spelunking in caves to dinosaurs. To doing a little shopping in adorable downtown Bozeman. So check it out. Are you ready to see some stalagmites? We're on our way into the Lewis and Clark Caverns. Ooh. We have to be careful because the bats just had their pups. Wow. Did you know that when the bats have their pups, they have them upside down and they catch them until they're able to fly on their own. necks grow to 90 feet long and they start at three feet long and they only live 20 years so they have to grow like insanely fast what I was honestly like a little bit of a dinosaur doubter before I walked into this museum because I just didn't know enough about them and I am completely blown away that all of this was found here in Montana. And after seeing the skulls that are massive, like there was one that was nine feet long, and that was found in one piece in the mountains over here. It's crazy. Welcome to Bozeman. I'm gonna do a little shopping. A little shopping, maybe a little uh, ice cream. Bozeman on the main street there's so many adorable shops and coffee shops and I love it all the boutiques here are like western theme I love shopping in a new city because everything's curated to that city and the style of the people there it's really fun to look around Okay, it was about 90 degrees in Bozeman, so we thought we should stop and get some drinks at this sweet bar 
Colorado River. I, I do need some more underwear. Oh. And of course, my doll head. Gold was discovered in this area of Montana in the mid 1800s. So many people fled to the area that Virginia City became the capital of the Montana region in 1865. But then all the gold ran out and people left, making it a ghost town. There was no money to restore any of the buildings, um, so they're quite literally frozen in time, as they are today. Give me a jig. That's all I got. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe or watch another episode.